Hey, hey, Gemini, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Gemini, it does look like teamwork is the name of the game for you this month. You may be working with others. This could be professionals, people who support you, support your dreams. This could be family, team projects. And because you have the death energy, I feel like a lot of you have been going through a period of transition. And the teamwork could also be resources helping you out here in some way, shape, or form. I feel some of you may be speaking to someone who has a bit more knowledge in a specific area than you, right? Or you could be the one acquiring and asking for help in some way. You're getting clear. There is a clear vision showing up, a vision for your future. Now, bottom of the deck, you've dealt with some disappointment, right? I see the disappointment showing up. You've dealt with loss in some way, shape, or form with the Five of Cups. This can be disappointment. It can be even depression, bitterness, grief. There has been a situation emotionally that was very difficult for you and you're coming out of it because you actually have the death card which does represent endings bringing in new beginnings and what you may not see gemini is brighter days ahead you have the bliss card at the bottom of the deck which is like the sun and you actually have the sun card showing up here in your outcome yeah you're departing you're departing from some sort of ending disappointment pain that you had gone through in the past, financial loss, okay, yeah, there's a shift here, you have the underworld card, so some of you may have felt like you had gone through a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges, and we have the helper, that also coincides with the teamwork card as well, I'm just getting all your cards out here, you also have the detox energy. You may be focusing on your health. We'll look at health. We'll look at wealth, love, relationships. We'll look at it all. I feel like you're eliminating people, places, situations, pain by bringing them to the surface so they can be seen, healed, dealt with, and you can create space for new beginnings. All right, what else do we have here for Gemini, please? Gemini, you have the flame, beautiful. And that can also be that light at the end of the tunnel. Something being sparked, reignited here within you. Now, your first card out, Gem, is the teamwork. This is about support, group effort, co-creation. You may be joining forces is what I'm getting here. You can see all the hands, they are working together. So it may have felt in the past that people had opposing views or you didn't feel supported in some way, shape or form. But in the month of September, I feel like everything is coming together. And you may also be seeing why certain events took place the way that they did in the past because we have the ace of truth showing up this is the ace of swords it is coming up with an action plan to cut through the barriers to find a new sense of understanding to create and build from your thoughts the the element of swords is all about the thoughts, the intellect, the power of the mind. And I feel like you are using the power of the mind to cut through the barriers here. And you can choose to use the mind to destroy or to build. And I feel like you are building something up here. But it does require you to cut out what is hindering or challenging to you by healing it, right? Or by removing it from your life. Detox is all about health, right? Healthy body, healthy mind, healthy thoughts, withdrawing from drama, okay? Not 
not enabling, I'm getting enabling and energy here as well. And I feel like you're stepping out of this and you are coming into more of a healing phase of your life or more of a flow versus resistance for those of you Gemini who felt like life was a challenge at times. You may have been dealing with relationships that were a struggle or health concerns or job issues. I feel like there's a huge release, a cleanse, and maybe even focusing on your diet, getting in shape, cutting certain foods out, certain substances out. It could even be addictions that you've dealt with in the past. You're coming to this point where there's a new healthy routine and you're making healthier choices in your life. And I feel like your mindset also feels a lot more stable. Now you have the law of attraction. This is what you think about, you bring about, but it's also the action behind those thoughts that help create your reality. A lot of times we think, <clears throat> excuse me, if I focus on it so much, it's going to happen, but it's also the energy, the momentum, the feelings, the beliefs backing that up. That is what truly creates that momentum behind the law of attraction. This could be a wonderful time to create a new vision for yourself, Gemini, for your future. This is an abundant mindset. You're highly magnetic at this time. <clears throat> and I do feel like you are attracting things that are helping you on your journey because you do have the helper card. You could also be helping others out, maybe professionally or personally, where Teamwork is required. There is no I in teamwork. And I'm just feeling like other people are entering into your world. You may be sharing your knowledge with others, sharing your story. That helps people grow. Maybe not repeat mistakes of the past by you teaching. Or maybe you're the student at this time as well. And you are being taught some valuable lessons. Some of you may even be going back to school. You may be signing up for new courses, new classes. I'm getting a nutritional program. Maybe you've just signed up for a new meal plan or new products that is going to help you, that will help you get in better shape or to feel better. I like this energy showing up after a time of possibly some transition and endings that could have been a little bit difficult for you. Now, bottom of the deck, you actually have the bliss card and you have inner child. There could be news around uh, children in the month of September. Okay, happiness regarding children, healing a child parent dynamic here. This is heaven on earth and you may not see this coming, but I also see for some of you, you may be revisiting a childhood dream. And this is the month that it starts to show itself in your reality. This is big. This is innocence, laughter, happiness, fun, and joy. And for some of you, that sun was dimmed or that light didn't feel like it was very bright while you were going through this tunnel, while you were going through this transition, but it's like birth, death and rebirth, right? You go through this tunnel that feels very challenging, not only for, you know, a mother, but a child as well, getting, you know, sucked into this tunnel where it was safe and warm. And then boom, there's the bright light and a new life is born. And I feel like in a way you are entering into this new phase out of some sort of an ending that had occurred in your past. The bliss is good. You may not see it yet, but it's showing up here. I'm getting something with the violet flame. I'm not quite sure what that means or what that entails, the violet flame. Okay, I know your card here is the flame, but maybe the violet piece is maybe the third eye being activated. Purple is a strong spiritual color of connection. So you may, I may have to look that up afterwards, the violet flame. Now your tarot cards, ace of truth, ace of swords is about clarity. You have a deeper understanding of a situation now more so. It could be because we are no longer in retrograde at this time, right? This can be a month where... 
you are getting clear on your goals, your intentions, you're coming up with an action plan. You are finding truth through logic and you're coming up with some solutions by using the power of the mind and that willpower, that determination. This is you owning up to some sort of obligation, responsibility or choice to be more abundant and to deal with things that feel very challenging or difficult and to find ways to work with this energy instead of resist it or feeling like it's taking over at times. So the Ace of Truth coming in is a beautiful energy to start off the month. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Eight Labors of Love. This is putting your work into practice right? Some of you could even be updating. I'm getting updating a child's room. So maybe there's a new child coming in and you may be making room for a baby. Perhaps you are adding a new room or you're doing some projects around the home. For a lot of you, again, this can be going back to school. September here in uh, the, the Northern Hemisphere, a lot, of, a lot of folks go back to school in September or even August, but I feel like you're creating something quite beautiful, quite tangible in this physical realm. This could be a, a passion project that you have. It could be you focusing on that childhood dream that we talked about and putting your, your love and your heart and even your blood, sweat, and tears into something because it means that much to you. Maybe this is a relationship you see that this woman is creating a mural and it shows all the different facets of, you know, her expression. So self-expression could be significant here for you this month as well. You see that there's the tides of the ocean. So through the, the ebbs and flows, through spiritual work, you see the, the deity here of maybe Hinduism or Buddhism, there is the naked truth. There is something along, you see all the hands, how interesting. Look at all those hands showing up. It takes over a big chunk of this mural. So I feel like the teamwork is significant as we see hands in here as well. Some of you, whenever I get the hands, this is healing hands. So Gemini, you may be a healer of some sort. Maybe you are a Reiki practitioner. You may be a massage therapist, a nurse, a psychologist, a coach, a mentor. I mean, you name it. I feel like you are embarking upon this healing journey, healing path for yourself or for others. Now, the transitioning here is possibly going from an old way of doing things, an old life, an old you, or even an old belief system. I feel like you're shifting out of that phase. It's like stepping into phase two or the next level of a job, of a relationship, of your health, but it requires you to grow, right? It requires you to step outside of a comfort zone and that can be uncomfortable to do. We like to stay, but you're ready. You have been ready and you have already been going through this change. So it's not new showing up for you. It's not like it's out of the blue and boom, there's an ending. I feel like you're already well aware of what has been changing in your life because we are constantly changing. I see some of you are also dealing with changes in the body, okay? Maybe your, your aging body is something you're starting to become aware of. You're wanting to take better care of yourself. You may be looking into skin products or ways to rejuvenate your health right? Body, mind, and soul. This could be, you know, signing up for a yoga class. This could be meditating more, mindfully eating, maybe doing some yoga, whatever this is here. I feel like you are aware is the key word, awareness. Now you have the four of cups showing up here. You may have been frozen or your emotions felt a little bit numb is what I'm getting because of some sort of frustration or depression even, 
Some of you may have felt very self-absorbed through foods, through substances, through shopping, through social media. It's like you were trying to find emotional balance, but it was through unhealthy patterns or unhealthy ways of doing things. Now it's like the frozen tundra is warming up. There's a thawing happening of energy. And with this thawing, you're wanting to choose healthy with the detox. And I feel like this is putting you on the path of emotional intelligence. You are very intelligent, but there was a situation regarding your emotions that you weren't quite sure how to deal with, right? Or you felt lack of in some way, shape or form, unlovable. Maybe you felt impatient or pessimistic or even ungrateful. And that is shifting here. You're coming to a sense of gratitude and appreciation for what you've gone through. Even this challenge or disappointment that you had been through in the past, I feel like there's a sense of awareness of the why, why you went through what you went through. And once you realize this, once you bring it up to the surface, it can be healed. It can be worked through. It's when it's buried deep in our subconscious that we're not always aware of what's truly going on until it manifests in the physical. And I feel like something did manifest here in the physical for you in the, the prior months, prior years. And now you're coming to a place where you're healing and it's happier days ahead. I mean, double sun energy in your reading is creating a sense of freedom for yourself, freedom from attachment, freedom from fears, pushing through those fears, having the courage to face them and say, wait a second, I am supported. I am protected right? Things are coming together for me, even if it feels like they're falling apart or they have fell apart. It's actually to bring something into a higher alignment. And you have the six of swords, which is departure. You're departing from this challenge, this heartache, disappointment, rejection. Remember, we do have the four and the five of cups here showing up. You've also been in a perseverance type of mode. You've had to persevere. You've had to fight for your life or fight for the things that you've wanted. And I'm not saying hard work, you know, through hard work, you've had to fight for it by putting in the effort, putting in the work. But now it's as if you're coming out of that fight or flight. You're coming out of survival mode, basically. And that's what you're leaving behind with the six of swords. There is a departure that is leading you towards more joy, more abundance, vitality, health. This is a powerful energy. And on this sunshine card, Leo energy, we have a lot of different animals here. We have the horse that represents freedom. We have the dolphin, playfulness. We have the golden retriever, honesty and loyalty. We have the turtle, slow and steady, right? We have the kangaroo with the little joey, nurturing and not being afraid to jump or take a leap when need be. And then we see the white parakeet here. And this is about your words, right? Words are like spells. That's why they call it spelling because our words are very powerful. The way we talk to ourselves, the way we communicate with others is what is also being reflected back to us. So happier times ahead here. You are departing from some struggles and you, you've earned this. You've worked hard for this. So whatever goodness is coming in here, Gemini, you've worked for it. All right, let's get a look at career, finances, wealth, abundance. You have the underworld, which was your first card out. Find unconventional ways to explore new sources of income. You have a powerful mind. You have ideas. Some of you are reinventing the wheel in some way, shape, or form, or you have a really great idea. I'm actually getting Shark Tank. So maybe some of you have an invention. You could take it to Shark Tank or it could be something that you've thought of. Like if only we had this, it could simplify the lives or it could help others in some way. Run with that idea. Some of you have an idea of maybe going off on your own or doing something that does seem unconventional. Maybe even social media, right? 
10 years ago, or even for me, three years ago, I didn't even know that tarot readers existed on YouTube. I didn't know it was a thing until one day, literally, Spirit guided me to turn on the TV, to go on YouTube as I was actually about to go on YouTube and find music, because that's basically to learn things and listen to music is why I used YouTube. Uh, but I heard my astrological sign being called and... I heard the third video in click and I typed in Libra, I'm a Libra, and I had never even known or heard it was a thing. And as I watched that video, which word for word resonated, including the names even called out in that video, Spirit said, this is what you will be doing. And I said, what? I don't read tarot, right? I don't even know tarot. I have one deck from 15 years ago. And uh, Spirit said, learn it because you're putting your first video out in one month. And I, you know, if I would have let fear take over at that time, I would have said, I can't do this. I don't know how. I would have made a million excuses, right? But I've come to the point in my life where I trust, I trust my intuition and I trust when spirit brings in a message to act on it and here we are a little over three years later with this channel so some of you are thinking of unconventional ways and I feel like your intuition is guiding you to take that leap just like that kangaroo right take that jump because you could create a lot of income as the world evolves so can your means of earning money maybe this is working with artificial intelligence it could be working with social media in some way shape or form or a new platform sex death hidden knowledge probing into the mysteries of life maybe those areas are something you will be talking about learning through personal experience teaching about exploring the underworld is the occult as well it can be mysticism astrology tarot horoscopes things of that nature so you may certainly be someone who dives into the metaphysical or underworld realm beautiful Wow, and I'm just noticing here how interesting there's actually, well, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, you can look at the, the picture, but I feel like there is, yeah, and death is showing up in your reading. So death and rebirth, it's like being able to turn loss or pain into gain. It is being able to, come up with new ways of being effective, helping people cope in some way, shape, or form, dealing with maybe finances, financial loss even, being able to work with money and work with abundance. Some of you may even be diving into the works of Abraham and Esther Hicks, the, the money and the law of attraction. You may be working with you know, your belief system around money, we could see some big changes regarding the, I mean, we already have the banking systems and things of that nature, but I feel like unconventional ways to explore income is something you've thought about or it will be something you dive a bit further into. We have Gaia. Good old Mother Gaia is here for protection. Trust that the universe has a better plan than you do. Yeah, you, and that's, in my case, I had to trust where I was at in my path. That was exactly what I needed. I wasn't even sure, but I listened and I trusted and I took action. That's what you are called to do at this time. Protect the planet. Working with nature in some way. This could be herbal medicine. This can be nature, animals, plants, being uh, of service in some way, shape, or form. Humanitarianism. Spend time with nature to be healed, soothe, and regroup. I'm also getting soothing balms. Okay, soothing balms. And I'm hearing Arnica. Now, Arnica, I believe, is some sort of an herb. Is it an herb that heals bruises and things of that nature? I mean, some of you, maybe you, you just supplied some Arnica or perhaps there is something with health. If you've been bruising lately, or there's something with pooling of blood, take that as it resonates. Some of you may have gone through a period of loss where you lost a loved one and perhaps there's some sort of soothing balm. Now it may not be in the physical, it almost uh, feels like uh, 
a healthy elixir, something such as maybe lemon balm or ashwagandha. There may be some herbs or supplements that can help you deal with or heal with is what I'm seeing here regarding some sort of loss that you had gone through. Okay. Next we have transporter. This card is a good indicator that things will start moving rather quickly for you. That's what that six of swords is. It can be travel, relocating, moving even. A career in transportation such as travel, driving, shipping, all these things could appeal to you. Uh, some of you, and I just said this, I think it was in either Taurus's reading or Aries. You may be a FedEx driver. You may drive for Uber. Uh, I'm getting as well. You may take public tra transportation or perhaps you're wanting to travel less. Maybe you travel for distance for work one way or round trip. And I feel like you could be getting the green light and look at, we actually have the green light in the background. It's like you're getting the green light to move forward. Like Go ahead, you've passed go. You know, on Monopoly, when you when you hit the pass with all the, the boardwalks there, I feel like you've come to a point where you can collect 200 here, okay? Uh, we also have the helper. And the helper is all about, it says, think before you offer help. Set healthy time boundaries. So boundaries are going to be significant. Cashier, sales rep, call center, any other field where you help or assist others. And we said that earlier with the, um, the helping hand. Make sure your goals are yours and not someone else's. Now also with this transporter, it says you could travel for work or perhaps you need to take action on some financial matters. Okay, I also see here with the transporter that action could be had or you may be making some quick financial well not quick i don't want to say quick financial decisions but changes that you will be making with a professional that could bring about an increase either an increase or a help regarding finances it's like applying for a loan or applying for some sort of service, but you have to apply by a deadline. And it's like you find out on a Wednesday, but the deadline is on Friday. So that may be the quick action that needs to be taken, okay? Or it could be a job where the deadline closes on the 31st and you're seeing it on the 30th. So I feel like spirit catches you. It's a green light. You have to take action, but there will be a deadline here. Let's take a look at... What else do we have for career finances? Some sort of truth. You're putting a lot of work into something. New class could be showing up here. Uh, again, you may be putting your work out there for the world to see. And I feel like you're putting an end to criticism or you're not letting what other people think of you get the best of you. You're transitioning into this new version of who you need to become in order to be successful in some way, shape, or form. And you absolutely have success here. What do we have for love? Wow, okay, we have love. This could be romantic love, family, friendships. It could be love for pets or animals. You have the hammer. Now, you're hammering something down, which means you've worked on it. You're building a new energy around relationships because some of you have gone through sabotage or you are rebuilding from the ground up is what I'm getting. You may be looking at the structure or foundation of where relationships had started for you, which they typically start from our parents or our caregivers. So you could be revisiting some of the structures and conditions that you have grown accustomed to, that you have taken into your belief system. For others of you, you're gonna work on a partnership, perhaps repair something. It may be coming back to life, okay? It may have been over with, but you may be having communication and decide to work on it with someone. This is persistence, this is not giving up. Some of you may work with a hammer and nails, maybe carpentry. This can also be do-it-yourself projects. You may be working on 
a home, building a home, quite literally, with a partner. Or you're repairing your finances in some way, shape, or form. I, I like the hammer showing up. And it coincides with that eight of pentacles here. Now, we also have healing hearts. You've had to heal some sort of heartbreak, toxicity, addiction, abusive relationships. That's part of detoxing because the word detox has tox, toxic in it, right? And I feel like you've worked on some of those aspects. You put a lot of time and energy into rebuilding the structure that's now solid for you to strengthen existing relationships or for you to embark upon new journeys with new soul contracts. And you may be talking with someone new or you're about to. This is about text, calls, emails, talking more. There's definitely interest and communication here, which you are very good at. We see the Ace of Swords bringing in communication. Six of Swords says something is taking off here. And where you're headed could potentially be engagement or engaging in the energy of another individual. Higher commitments. This is eternity, it's partnerships, it's unions. It is a sense of completion, Gemini. So beautiful. For those of you that are looking for love, I feel like there's an ending of an old phase and you could certainly be meeting someone and that could be the sun energy, someone who's very joyful, very abundant, very nurturing. They could be a healer. Could be a Leo as well. And I feel like you're moving on from the past heartache and you're engaging in commitments that feel more solid, more structured, and more healthy. And last but not least, we have the flame. The flame energy is being reignited, I feel, within you. I'm also getting the flame. It's almost as if something felt like it burned I'm like, I'm getting like a burn to the ground or, you know, maybe fire is significant in some way, shape or form. The flame is all about the spark, the glimmer, the fire. In Sanskrit, the word for fire is Agni. The ancient yogi saw this flame at the center of the abdomen and believed it to be responsible for our vitality. When it is lit, we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift. It is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. Think of this card as a call to reignite that fire, to cup your hands gently around those things that you've forgotten and protect the flame no matter how harshly the winds blow around you. It could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. And we said that earlier, you are a healer. Who else is a healer? The poet, the mystic, the shaman. This is about health. It's mental clarity and good digestion. Some of you, digestion and with the sun, this is solar plexus. You may have a viral or bacterial infection here or something in the gut that is causing acid reflux, that's causing maybe constipation, digestion. I'm getting kidney and liver as well. And you may be called to address that at this time. This is about excess heat and anger. Oh, that could be that fire, something burning down. Some of you may have used anger or rage to mask pain, to control. And I feel like that is something that is being addressed here. This is complete darkness. When that flame goes out, you may feel like you are in complete darkness. That's the death. Like I said, being squeezed through that tunnel feels dark. But what's emerging on the other side is new life. And that's what I see here for you, Gemini. This is powerful. The archetypal fire is at the beginning of all transformation, purification, and manifestation, which we see in the law of attraction. Nearly every spiritual lineage honors the flame. To enliven the connection with this archetypal energy, practice candle gazing, a technique known as Tritaka. 
Notice how lighting a single candle in any space brings magic to the room and creates a sense of reverence. So I used to do this as well. I have um, Leo is my rising. So I do have that fire placement. For those of you specifically that do have fire placements, I, I do bonfires and I, I like candles as well, but it really captivates me to look into a bonfire and it is a form of meditation. You can get lost in that bonfire and you can receive a lot of meditation, uh, a lot of downloads. And so for those of you that enjoy bonfires or maybe fires, through a fireplace at home, or if you enjoy candles, this can really activate that energy. And if you wanna go a little bit deeper in this, if this flame is resonating, you can take a look at The Light You Give Off by Rumi, or Gerard Richter's Candle Paintings. Those are two, I don't know if they're poems, if they're stories, The Light You Give Off by Rumi, and Gerard Richter's candle paintings. That could be, of course, a painting. And you may feel like something within your soul sparks by listening, reading, or gazing into one of those paintings. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this resonates. It definitely looks like things are coming into light here for you. Keep the faith. Keep that belief going. Detox out what's what's not working and what's within your control and don't resist things that are out of your control. Please hit that thumbs up button if you like the messages today. Feel free to share, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And thank you so very much, Gemini, for tuning in. Lots of love.